Hello, in this tutorial you will learn how to get started with building Maker Toolset. Let's start with creating the first wall element in the scene. Do it like you would usually do by drag and drop it from the project view into the scene view. Now, with the created wall element selected, you can see in its inspector, a bunch of wall icons under the row prop placer component. If you hover over one of them with your mouse cursor, you already see a preview of its associated prefab in the scene view. You can see, there is quite a lot of them. So, as not to lose the overview, you can filter some of them out by clicking the eye icon next to their group name. This will hide the corresponding group in the scroll view. By right-clicking, you hide every other group, except the one you just clicked on. Now, let's start actually utilize the row prop placer placing capabilities and create the outer walls for our building. Hover over some of the wall icons and use its preview in the scene view, to get an idea how it fits to your building. Once you found the module you are happy with, click on its icon and it will be instantiated. The instantiated module is aligned with the previous one. It also becomes selected, so that you can pick the next module in its inspector. Use corner wall modules to define where you want the corners of your buildings to be. With this brisk workflow, you can put the outer walls of your buildings in next to no time. You can change the operation type of the row prop placer component from normal to reverse so you can place the new modules in the other direction. Continue until you complete a full circle with your walls. It feels like there should be a door here. So, delete this game object and place a doorway module instead. The outer walls of our building are now complete. And we know the basics of the row prop placer component. Now, it's time to create the floor and roof for our building. With one wall module of our building selected, scroll down in its inspector, till you find the footprint maker component. Under the footprint maker component, click the select all neighbors button, to select all the outer walls of our building. Now with all the outer walls selected, click the create shape from selection button, under the footprint maker component. The footprint maker component just created a new game object, with a platform shaper component attached. Also, the footprint maker component added a shape, based on the outer walls of our building. Let's change the Y offset of that shape and add a material to it. If your generated shape doesn't fit your building properly, you can edit it if you like. For that, check the Enable Editing checkbox in the Platform Shaper Inspector. Now, you can move the points of your shape by dragging them around. And, you can add points by control clicking on a line between two points, or on empty space. By control clicking on a point, you remove it. Here you can see, how you can change some of the UV properties. Let's create a roof shape. For that, we first simply copy the floor shape. I put the roof a little higher than needed, so that you can see what's actually happening. As you can see, our roof shape is a simple one-sided plane. We can't even see the other side because of back face culling. We can change this by changing the value of thickness, in the inspector. Also, we now got a new material field, for down facing faces. Here we can put in our ceiling material. Here you see, that our ceiling and roof faces are sharing their UV settings. If you don't want that, you can untangle them, by clicking this little chain icon. If needed, 
you can let Platform Shaper generate the edge faces. For that, in the Inspector, you check the Edge checkbox, next to the shape which you want to add the edge to. After that, a new material field for the edge appears. Also, you can edit the edge's UV properties. However, in this case we don't need these edges. So, let's remove them and put the roof in the right position. To complete the facade of our building, let's select one of the wall modules, scroll down in the inspector, till you find the prop swapper helper component. There, click on select neighbors, to select all adjoined walls and click the add buttons, next to the crown and skirt swappers. The prop swapper, lets you easily swap between module features, like doors and wall trims. With the prop swapper helper, you can operate multiple prop swappers at once. For example, let's change the facade crown for the front of our building. Select the corresponding modules. With the module selected, look in the inspector for the prop swapper helper component. There, use the slider next to the crown group, to set a different crown for the selected modules. Close the holes on the crown modules, by using their row prop placer component. Pick your door prefab, by using the prop swapper helper on the doorway wall modules. Let's iterate on the outer walls of our building and change the wall type in the back. As you can see, the walls are not aligned correctly. No problem. You can use the Rec tool and scale the walls till they fit. Now, let's separate a room by placing interior walls. As earlier, drag and drop an interior wall module from the project view into the scene view. Use the row prop placer component of the placed module, and continue building the wall. Pick a door with prop swapper. In this room, I want a different floor material. For that, I need to navigate to its platform shaper component, and check the enable editing checkbox. Then I need to create a new shape. A new shape is created by holding down the shift key while placing the first point. Let go the shift key and hold the control key to place the next points. Now, let's mark the shape as a whole. Before we continue, let's rename our shape so that we don't lose the overview. The hole needs to be expanded, so that it covers the whole room. If we clone the created shape, we can assign a different material to it. Also, I want a different wall material for this room. For that, I simply drag and drop a material from the project view on the wall in the scene view. Because the wall consists of two submeshes, a different material can be applied on each side.
A module with a different material is overlapping into this room. Let's fix that quick. Let's add some props to our building. Row prop placer can be used to place objects like pipes and cables. Our building is made of a lot of pieces. This can hit performance in some cases. That's why we should combine meshes of similar materials into one. Building Maker Toolset is equipped with a mesh combiner that is capable of doing that. In order to use the mesh combiner, all objects that belong to our building need to be parented to one game object. So let's create an empty game object and parent our building to it. Add the prop combiner component to the parent of our building and press the pack button in its inspector. As you can see, all static meshes that share the same material are now combined. Also, if some LOD groups are present, Prop Combiner will create a combined mesh for every LOD index and set up an LOD group component with them. Now, we have our building finished. And if we want we can create a prefab of it. If we want to make changes to our building, we need to unpack it from the prefab first. Also, we need to uncombine the combined meshes. For that, in the prop combiner component of the parent from our building, click the unpack button. Now you can access the individual elements again. This is the end of the tutorial. You now know how to use the building maker toolset. 
In the next tutorial we will take some modular building pack from the asset store and set it up to be used with building maker toolset. Thanks for watching.